guys and welcome back so changing it up instead of vanilla minecraft then to be specific sky I mean super flat we're gonna try out fault hunters i've seen some youtubers play it i'll i'll link the i'll link man i'll, I'll link Escal's youtube and his vlog channel you can he the he's the creator of it so you must go check him out it, what he does is amazing okay so i've just made sure everything works there so in world options you can do sky vault which is like sky block but <laughs> using that you get everything from but i think let's just go with default for now mm. Survival normal we can change stuff if necessary. Let's call it fold 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 loot no oh. fold loo fold loo <laughs> let's see where we spawn in. Quite interested. Please don't tell me my game's gonna crash. This is the only problem with big mod packs. Tend to crash. Are they? Okay. Let's hope, guys. Cut your fingers. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's a good sign. But I've had mods where shows that it loads in then it just crash hopefully we're not in like a humongous detailed biome that will crash our game because <laughs> the one is spawned in the whole time it almost crash so for anyone who hasn't seen uh, Vault Hunters it's basically like you start off with survive, kind of survival Minecraft, but things are changed, and but you get you have port you have a portal, and you make these crystals. So you you go into this vault world, and I'm playing on the brand new one, the one point the one point eighteen updated one, where the vault is one type of vault. Okay. Let's let's just steal some stuff so at least we can Oh camel. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> so, it must it must, one of the mod packs they have must have added it. So just grabbing some resources now. If you look we have journey map Man. actually not too great of a spawn it's nice having a desert but yeah. yes a village and oh there's mud now I want to sh show you that I wish was in vanilla actually I don't know if it's one mod or they count as two Hopefully these villages Let's break this far's face <coughs> So With this new update you have to look for Oh wait we saw with the Vault Hunters guide So we'll check that out a bit later There we go there's some villages Oof. Game is lagging quite a bit I don't think we're going to be staying in the desert long so if you go in you can cycle the traits so you don't have to like carry on doing things and if you shift right click you pick them up <laughs> so then you can just move and place them so right now I think I'm just gonna grab as many as I can so that when I start my base I'm not having to <laughs> try and transport villagers 
unfortunately they don't stack but if they did how much work that would have been for them also these like little things here is just amazing let's steal the bed child Okay, just to do something. I've only got like an hour to play because I'm going to be load shaded soon. Great. So, let's, see. let's explore a little bit. I know what's in this main building here. Alright, I just wanna. Oh, so you see at the bottom here, manor. You. You're gonna, a bit later on, you'll find out once I unlock things, but you're gonna use that. It's, it's quite a cool type of game. I, I think we're gonna find a lot of fishing villages, a lot of barrels here. Farmtopia. A perfect start. And it's just. just Steal as much as I can. And my inventory is like running out of space now. I guess some stuff I'll just remove things as I go. So I think I've got the main. Yeah. Like, I can always create stuff. And. In this mod pack, there is like crates, but you have to unlock it later on. It's just piercing. Of, yeah, I will take those books though. Hmm. So I don't need string right now. I I love how funny they look. Oh, uh, I think I. I just hit the jackpot. Wow. Nitwit. Uh, oh, so it's the mod is it's easy villages. Yeah, I'll just take that for now. You can eat a prickly pear. <laughs> so this mod is very like can get very heavy on really making sure you have everything or oh, not really heavy but a lot of ingredients into net okay um i th think we should just check loot as much as we can I'm not gonna take the brewing stand actually i probably should because in this mod you can't, um, you can't heal passively or with food. You have to use healing potions or there's a special ability. So if I just want to check something. Yeah, where is it? Game mechanics, um... Let me just try and find that. Oh yeah, they also have. You see, if I press C, they have that. Man. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and find it. So let me just grab some wood. No fault, see any faults, rock, no. Hmm. It isn't bad in the desert, but it's the desert. Looks like it needs some lush for there. Oh. Yuck. 
can't see much. But that could also just be a few trees. I'll probably just take my no, my chances. I don't think there's anything there. Oh. oh yeah, and they have a lot of decoration mods. Like there it makes that. Which would just be which is going to be great later on. I think we should probably head on over this way, maybe. We'll, we'll just keep a lookout for anything. So I'm gonna run if I see anything, I'll carry on. So I quickly sleep during the night. I've arrived by a jungle, so I've traveled a bit. So I'll probably set up a base here and if I see any anywhere else I'll go there but I think for now that's gonna be a good place to go so let, let me let's sleep then we'll carry on okay I've arrived in my area have quite a bit of land to work with so I think I'm gonna do a little bit of mining and just getting stone tools and I'll be back Okay, just let that, that little mining thing trip, you know, short little clip. Man, my game is really laggy. It's probably this, all these bananas. bananas. Um, so, let me just, I think I'm gonna build up here. So I'm just gonna hide the man ever so slightly no coal okay <laughs> yeah quite I can flatten the area just because one of my plans is just to build like a just a wall around where I am at Or even if it's since it's in the jungle like a temple but so you, as you can see here I have the JEI so you can see there's a lot of mods but like here it requires I need iron furnace and if I go into here I think no this isn't it right here Iron furnaces, yeah. This requires four research, which you get from fire. Um, I think it's n knowledge stars. Yeah, knowledge knowledge stars, which costs eight volt diamonds, which you get f inside the vault, plus um a lot of shards, like it's in force. Eight shards, which is a stack of 
mean, not even. It's like a stack and eight around there. So, <laughs> a lot of work, I think. Yeah. But, so for now, we won't be getting into that. Don't think we're going to get into... I, I, I don't mind the music, just... I'm trying to talk. I think, yeah, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna try and get into any vaults th today, because I. Th before we go into vaults, we're gonna need like some diamond armor. <laughs> Probably gonna be our best shot. And because even if I show you armor, um, like a. Iron, it's it's quite low for a chest plate, because you get, if I can just get here, you know, oh no fault, it must be fault. Um, yeah, but, if, oh, yeah, here, yeah, identify, and I identify it. So you, you do get these stuff, which you can't read. I think you can craft later on, I don't know. But this is our man, they give different stats and they're better. So as you can see, the crate mod is in. Okay. So, a kind of rough idea is... Just build a wall like that. We can make it too high, and I think this um, spy. I don't know. Oh, yes, bamboo spikes. So I might create some of these, and well, you can get poisonous. Hmm. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna grab some of that bamboo over there. Grab some more. And just more wood build a nice little perimeter we can put a gate here and everything okay I'll get right
Okay, so just finishing up here. My I've been having some problems with my old microphone, so we went to this concert range, so just went and got that. And this is a voice recording over it. But as you can see, I've completed it. It looks quite nice, so I'll just flatten out and get rid of some of the grass. But there are so many different types of mods and yeah, like amazing like just how many they actually are yeah so I'll just sort out and I have this nice little path so these spikes that I put up look they're so cheap just bamboo and bamboo and slabs so I, I decided to just put them all over and this is ba using bamboo leaves and bamboo blocks so, um, as you can see here, there's 83 different mods, and a lot of them are decoration mods, which are ah, amazing. And you don't have to install them at all. So, just, I was just thinking now that maybe if I swap these blocks, move these blocks, because I need somewhere to sleep, just whack my microphone. Cause I can't just sleep outside of my fort. Like, I think, oh, wait, I mean, yeah. I can't just sleep outside my fort. That's not right. I'm just gonna sleep all outside on the ground, like <laughs> shivering. So I'm just getting rid of some of the grass in this area. Mm. Yeah, this rage concert. I'll just I'll put some photos up. And the tea, quite some nice stuff. This is where I got my microphone, and I can change the volume, so you probably hear it coming in and out. But still need to tweak and see which one's the best. But yeah, so just anyway, um, I, I I quite like doing these voice recordings afterwards. I was thinking. Any of you guys have any of you guys seen a song called? I th think you guys have probably heard of him, Luke the Notable. He's like the father of One Hundred Days, and what he does with his videos is he doesn't record it during he he plays, and then only after he goes and records everything. And I quite like that because it's a different style of playing. I probably will record myself, but I won't. I'll just play and talk in there. And yeah. Then I'll like pre after record. As you can see, I just added too many bamboo spikes. Wanted to add in the corners to make sure like no mobs or nothing can walk past. Didn't want to add the whole thing because it'll just look ugly. So yeah, this is how it looks. Let me just do some work and I'll be right back. Okay. So you guys saw this area and voila. So just put some chests up and I use this thing called oak shelves. They you know, or oak support. Which I put the chests on which look amazing. And my favourite part of the whole thing I have the interior and I can look out. The oak blinds. I'm just gonna sit here in between videos. I might even do this at the start. So, I didn't get much done for the actual mod series, and for, but I'm going to try and do that in the next episode. So, I'm just going to have to upgrade and try and get some better armor. If I can, I want to get diamond and maybe get some netherite gear, and I've got villagers to train with. So, I've got the, I was trying to make some signs. So, just looking up, and I found out that there's hanging signs. So, knowing me, <laughs> I had to go for the better option. And I remember on my, my map, I found the buried treasure over there. So, yeah, I had to cut up my game audio and everything, because it was creaking up. Okay.
went and got everything, got a buried treasure map, I won't open it yet, that'll be next episode. But there it says, Fort Sweet Spikes. Unfortunately I can't reach it, but as you can see here, if I'm hanging, you can knock it and it moves with real physics. Oh, I wish that was a natural game. Well, yeah, guys, I think this is going to be it for the next episode. As I said, we'll try and get further in the actual mod pack next episode. So, well, if you guys enjoyed it, like me talking over it like this, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll try and replace the grass with it. Goodbye, guys.